Here we're going to solve equation for x. First example here, we have log of x is equal to negative 3 with the base 3. As you recall, we can convert log of x to the base b equal to y into its exponential function. To do that, we take the base b, raise it to the power of y, and that would be equal to x. So that's exactly what we're doing here. We take the base 3, raise it to the power of minus 3, that should be equal to x. So x equal to 3 to the power of minus 3. 3 to the power of minus 3 would be the same as 1 over 3 to the power of 3, which is equal to 1 over 27. That's all we did here was converting this logarithm to its exponential function to solve for x. Here's another example. In this case, the base is 1 over 3. So the base is a b is 1 third. So we say 1 third to the power of 2 must be equal to this expression, 2x plus 2. 2x plus 5, I'm sorry, 2x plus 5. So here we're converting the, the logarithm into an exponential. This is a logarithmic equation. This is the exponential. Now I don't have any log in here, so I can solve for x. 2x plus 5 is equal to 1 over 9. To solve for x, we can multiply each term by 9 to eliminate this fraction. 2 times 9 give you 18x. 5 times 9 is 45. 1 over 9 times 9 would be 1. So here's a linear equation. We can solve for x by subtracting 45 and dividing 18 from both sides of the equation. Get x equal to minus 22 over 9. Once again, we're converting the logarithm into its exponential to solve for x. So another example, solve log of 5 is equal to 4. This time we're looking for the base. We wonder what base is. You need to know how to convert log of y with the base x is equal to, I can use any, any variables I want, let's say equal to c. If I want to convert this into the exponential, I take the base here, x, that's the one that's unknown here, to the power of c is equal to y. That's what you're doing, you're taking the base x to the power of 4 is equal to 5. To solve for x, here we have to eliminate this 4. So I have to take a fourth root of both sides. We have to raise both sides to the power of 1 over 4. So x is equal to plus and minus the fourth root of 5. I'm going to reject the negative solution. Since the base of the logarithm must be positive and not equal to 1. So this would be the only solution we can accept. Next example here, we have log of the fourth root of 6 is equal to x. We're looking for this x. Our base is 36. I'm going to use the same formula here to convert this logarithm into the exponential. 36 to the power of x is equal to the fourth root of 6. Here I don't have any log anymore, it's exponential form. So to solve this, we need to make the base the same. If I have a to the power of x is equal to a to the power of y, we can conclude from here that if the base are the same, the exponents must be the same. X must be equal to Y. So that's what we're doing here. 
here we have 36 as the base, and here we have fourth root of 6. Fourth root of 6 is really is 6 to the power of 1 fourth. We can recall that if I have nth root of a to the power of m, that is the same as a to the power of m over n. So this would be 6 to the power of 1 fourth. The exponent here is 1. So this exponent here is 1. So it would be 6 to the power of 1 fourth, like a to the power of m over n. So 4 root of 6 is 6 to the power of 1 fourth. 36, I want to make the base the same. Well, 36 is factor of 6. You can write it as, as 6 squared, which is 36. So now we made the base the same. This we have 6 to the power of 2x equal to 6 to the power of 1 fourth. If the base are the same, the exponents must be the same. So 2x must be equal to 1 fourth. Then we can solve for x. So x would be equal to 1 over 8.